Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So looking at Pirate Nation, I'm just finishing off this battle. This is my the last of my five battles um, for the day. So you can just see this is my ship here, um, card-based battle here. I've just used up nine points um, and I'm uh, going to end this round. So I've got 79 health. My enemy um, started off with three. There's, a, he, there's only one left now. He's only got three health. So I'm about to win, I hope. So let's see what he's going to do. There we go. So I actually had a counter uh, a counter attack on. So whenever he attacked me, I counter attacked. So that was one of the cards. So there we go. Um, finished uh, five of five. Um, so this is everything on this game. In this game is a blockchain game, fully on chain. So you can see it's um, telling me some data. Um, it's validating the results, so it's waiting to do a transaction on the blockchain. I'm getting some rewards um, in terms of these assets. I'm also getting some booty points, so that's um, one of their um, sort of play-to-earn points for their season. Um, and I've also got some command points, so that's all worked out well. Uh, so let's go back to the port and see what I can do with this sort of stuff. So this is a game um, that has a few different sort of, um, could think of them as modes, I suppose. That's the battle mode I've just done. Um, there are some other um, sort of mission quest modes that you do with different elements in the game. Um, obviously it's pirate based. Um, so there's a, a little island here. Um, I've got some energy and some various other systems. So let's have a look here. Um, so bounties, um, these are things that my, Pirates have been doing, so these are completed, so these are just time-based um, elements, so I just hit collect on these to collect these rewards. There are different re rewards in the game, these are things like iron ore, and there are some some items and, and um, things like that as well. Um, so uh, there we go, it's just waiting for the for these transactions to go through to see what I win, so I win a whole bunch of these, these elements. So there's a whole sort of crafting uh, marketplace uh, element as well there's a whole bunch of deck building which i don't really do you get that also automatically um so let's see in terms of uh these are my nfts so i have a founder's pirate uh, and then you get these free um sort of playable pirates as well so the founder's pirates um, are the sort of the, va the valuable ones um and you can level them up um if i for some reason click on the right one so um can i level him up uh, i've got enough points but i don't have enough gold so i've only got 253 gold i need 2000 gold to level him up so um not quite not quite there yet um right so let's go and um look at uh some quests so these are well, one of the energy systems here um and we can see here a certain amount of energy uh, that you need to use and again this is a sort of a uh, a, a sort of more open questing system where um, I need some of these things, some of these elements. Um, I don't ha have any cotton nets, um, and but these are the rewards I'm going to get. So you can sort of flick around and see. Um, this one here is going to take up 30. I've got 150. These crates are what I get through winning battles. So I've got five of those, so I could just um, use all these up um, by uh, doing that. And we see here on this ambush trade, uh, ambush traders. It's saying, oh, I don't have these, these, this ore I don't have. Um, so I could uh, use energy and use this gems. So I have a bunch of gems here. Um, you see the notifications popping up here of what's going on. Um, and gems is one of the new sort of things that are going on here. You can see lots of these quests now have this sort of gem option. Um, some of them don't. So this one here, I just need a compass. Um, so I can just use up some energy and I'll use up one of these compasses so you can see the numbers going down um, and this is what I'm going to get as rewards. So you can sort of choose, um, you can be like a sort of strategic if you want depending on sort of what you want to um, get. Uh, so this one here is uh, I need uh, a spyglass and a net. I've got three of those and one of those so um, there we go. I can sort of, sort of just go, go around and choose these. Um, use up my energy, uh, maybe use these ones up. Okay, um, so that's what's, that's what's happening there. Um, okay, uh, and these are the bounties, so this is how I set the crew. So um, I have two pirates, so in this one here, I just use uh, this sort of basic pirate, and this is gonna take him two hours. And for some of these ones, they have a, a sort of special blocked ones, and you need a, um, a founder's pirate to do these ones. So I have to select all my founder's pirate to do those. Um, and that's going to take five days to do that, so quite a, quite a, a long mission. Um, so uh, that's sort of how how the sort of the, that sort of system works. There is uh, crafting here, so you collect a whole bunch of stuff. Um, as you can sort of see, some of these are some of these are cosmetic. Some of them are, are useful. So we saw previously those those anchors that are useful. Um, if you need a resource, you can use. I don't have any. Um, 
If I want to uh, create them though, I can just use some iron ore. I've actually got loads of iron ore, so I could go and create um, a maximum of 10, so that would use up 30 of my iron ore. Um, and I can uh, hit craft, I'm just gonna do that there. And there we go, so now I've got 20. Um, so it's very, some of these things are, let's say, just cosmetic. Um, so there, there we go, just sometimes you have to just wait for the notification to come up. So so um, again, uh, I don't have any um, ore, I don't have any of these wooden ores, um, but I can use up some wood um, and uh, craft those. So uh, that's what's going on there. So, so the, use, the, the new thing that's coming is, a uh, new thing that's just sort of come is, the, is these gems. So gems can be used to cover missing items. So these are, if you don't have the right items and you don't want to sort of go th to the marketplace and buy them, which you can do, um, but obviously that's a sort of transaction. You need to have the right sort of um, sort of blockchain tokens and, and stuff. Um, so, so these gems are sort of like, you know, as you would have in free-to-play mobile games. You think of it as a hard currency. Um, and they just sort of fill in the gaps. So if I want to get more of these, um, it takes me to another web page. This is a, obviously a browser-based game. Um, I'm just waiting for it to load up. So we can see here um, that these are these gems. So... Um, uh, there's different types of gems, or different, different sort of uh, sizes, and we can see how many are sold. So obviously transparency is very sort of interesting with blockchain, and we can see um, you obviously get you get more gems, um, <coughs> relatively speaking. Um, so it actually doesn't say how many it is, does it? Um, so um, a mountain of gems here costs 400, and these are pirate uh, tokens. So pirate tokens, the pirate token is the blockchain um, uh, cryptocurrency that that. Uh, Pirate Nations recently launched, doing very well um, in terms of its price, at least. And one of the sort of interesting things they've done here is they gave away a whole bunch of, um, of these tokens uh, for people who owned NFTs and played the game. So they're now in season two of that. So you can still um, get points that will get you some tokens of these. Um, uh, but you can also uh, you can stake them um, to get points for another token. I won't go into all that sort of stuff. A blockchain uh, token for the blockchain that, that underpins the game. Uh, but you can also um, if, like me, you have these staked, you can actually still sell them even though they're staked to get these gems and then use the gems. So it's sort of quite a nice system where you have you know, some elements are sort of proper cryptocurrencies, um, some elements are just sort of um, sort of uh, hard currencies where you would spend, in this case, the cryptocurrency. So you can't, I don't think you can buy these with in-app purchases, you have to have the, the pirate token. So it's sort of the, the price of these gems is going up. Maybe that's why so many of these have been bought, sort of, you know, often the case where the cheapest ones um, sell the most, because obviously that's what the first one you do, maybe is buy the cheapest ones, but lots of people have been buying the most expensive ones, and sort of, I guess there's some idea that you want to buy them um, now because the price may be going up, and I guess, actually, they probably dynamic on how many of these gems you get, depending on the price of, of pirates, I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe if you click and see, what they're going to tell us. Um, let's just, here we go, so it's going to tell us... Um, so Mountain of Gems, um, okay, so I'm gonna get 4,000 gems plus some bonus gems. So I think that they're changing this all the time. They sold 13,000 of them. It costs 400 pirate. I can buy one of these with my staked pirate. And actually I save 10%, so I only pay 360 pirate tokens. Whereas if I just um, have to, if, if, I, if I'm not using the staked pirate token, I pay 400 so just encouraging everyone to stake their pirate token uh, because you, you actually get a, a discount and actually you're you're earning um, points um, for this other system as well so um, it's a pretty uh, you know as a game it doesn't maybe seem that sort of exciting as a sort of turn-based uh, pirate game but there are these sort of very uh, layered elements to it so here here are, is their marketplace uh, so you have these founder pirates like the ones I was showing you, you have items and ships these are skins effectively but they're NFT skins I oh, know they're not uh, some are skins and some are actual um, ships so the ship I was using was actually uh, a more uh, a more advanced ship than you would obviously get at the start but you'll have these items as well again some of these are cosmetic um, and some of these are things you would actually um, maybe use in the quest and some of them are things you would use um, to create other assets so um, I don't know if you can see it here you get these blueprints so some of the blueprints you would need if you wanted to create a, a ship or a skin so here we go plans for a galleon so to make a galleon you would need one of these and some other items wood and stuff like that and then you can actually mint out your own NFT so so it looks simple um, all the elements look fairly simple when they come together they are you get a quite a lot of complexity from it um, and these are uh, all these items are priced in ETH, but it's ETH on 
what we call the apex chain. So the apex chain is a is a L3 blockchain running on um, Arbitrum, um, uh, sort of backed up to Ethereum's uh, security model. But this is their own blockchain to run uh, Pirate Nation at the moment. Other games in future, um, and there's obviously you can see people are creating these items all the time. These are very super cheap. Um, so uh, it's sort of interesting where actually some of them might be pretty expensive. Uh, let's go to the high. So um, you know you have very expensive things and very cheap things. So some of these um, 10 ETH, so whatever that's going to be, thirty thousand dollars. So I mean, obviously people can make up prices for these sort of things. But a like demon galleon is zero point seven seven ETH. Um, <laughs> so some of these are for rare items, I suppose. Um, uh, but people pricing them um, at, at different levels um, and you get a whole sort of economy based around um, a fairly simple game so Pirate Nation one to watch um, I'll put my uh, affiliate um, code or my ref my um, referral code in the in the box below the video so you can use that to sign up um, and uh, see how you get on with it anyway thanks for watching see you again soon